Hi everybody and welcome to exercise one on page 33 of the workbook. And this exercise is referring us back to an example that we did earlier, example four on page 32. We drew two graphs there and they're asking us to decide whether each graph individually is concave up or concave down. Okay, so just to warn you, we're gonna be doing some scrolling back and forth between these two pages here. All right, so let's scroll back to example four and look at the first of the two functions. Again, we wanna decide whether it's concave up or down. Oops, sorry. Okay, so we're looking at this graph here. Okay, and I wanna give an answer that maybe gives reasons in two different ways. Let's first think graphically about this. Okay, so concavity graphically was about asking, does our graph look like a right side up or an upside down ball? Let me just draw an example of both up here. Okay, so there's a right side up ball and there's an upside down ball. And as you look at the graph down below here, which of those two shapes does our graph match? Okay, well notice that the graph that we have down here below appears to match the right side up ball because it looks like the right hand half of this graph. Okay, so because it looks like part of that right side up ball, it must be concave up. Okay, a second reason that we could say that this is a concave up function would be right here. Notice that we made the observation that the second derivative is positive, and that's what we really mean when we say concave up. All right, so let's scroll back and answer the first part of the question. Okay, so... graph from part A is concave up because it's shaped like a right side up ball. That was our graphical reason. And the second reason that we know that it's concave up was that its second derivative is positive. Okay, so and because that second derivative is positive. Either of those reasons, okay, would be good reasons to explain why that has to be a concave up function. Okay, and what about the graph in B? All right, well, let's scroll back up and see if we can answer that question. So let's think graphically again. So if we look at the graph in part B here, does that look like part of a right side up or an upside down ball to you? Okay, I look at that graph and I notice that its shape resembles kind of this shape here. Notice that that's part of the upside down ball that we drew. And since it's part of an upside down ball, it must be concave down. Okay, another reason that it's concave down would be the fact that we noticed that the second derivative was negative. Okay, so for either of those two reasons, b is a concave down function. Let's write that. So it's concave down because it's shaped like, like um, an upside down ball and because its second derivative is negative. Okay, and maybe I wanna make just one little correction in wording here. Okay, when I say shaped like a right side up ball, that might make you think that it looks, the entire graph looks like an entire ball. Might be more accurate to say like part of A. Okay, so I'm just gonna insert those words here. Okay, let's see, how can I do this best here? Okay, so it's shaped like part of a right side up bowl. It looked like one half of it. And then the same thing here, like part of an upside down ball. Okay, 
And I think we've got some good descriptions then of, of why these are concave up and down.